Clint one day, I said, what do you want to do? If you could retire tomorrow, what would you do with the rest of your life? And he said, I would sell fish. Okay, all right, it is live. Live, it's live. We're coming to you live. Hello, I'm Clint Boyd. I'm Elizabeth Boyd. And we're Saltwater Markets. Five years ago, we started a local seafood and meat market in our hometown of Clover, South Carolina to share the absolute best with our communities. Let's try it. I feel a little bit. <laughs> I got two cameras on me. It is a awesome mashup of our life's experiences so far all over the U.S. and Caribbean and we connect the dirty hands of fishermen and farmers all over the U.S. with your home plate and it's our absolute passion. <laughs> yes, busy Friday, bring it. This will be our feature today. So what makes them awesome is they're covered in seawater. Here's your seat. If you have to return it, don't worry, I'll eat the rest. <laughs> Little high fives? Yeah. So Elizabeth and I were high school sweethearts and the only girl I ever dated. How long did I try to convince you to marry me? Too long. It's like a good five years. Yeah. So we, we got married at what, 20? Yeah. Couldn't drink the champagne at our honeymoon. Okay, hold your glass up to the camera now. There we go. built a distribution business all over the U.S. and Caribbean that was awesome. Connected fishermen directly with restaurants and I got to meet a lot of fishing families. You started to travel with me some. We were going through Rock Hill one day. We were going to Penn Station. We had just had our first child. Yep. So Caleb, you were on maternity leave. Yeah. And I remember Elizabeth looked at me. We were crossing the train tracks. I think that was her. That was your segue moment. You said, I don't want to go back to work. I was supposed to be back the next day. Yep. And yeah. I said, don't go. Stayed at home for what 13 years? You did. Almost 13 years. Homeschooled our children. babies. I just wanted to give you everything you ever wanted. So my wife is absolutely amazing. She can do anything. She's the only person I've ever been around in my entire life who can you can plug in any situation and she will figure it out. She's gone from the most amazing wife to amazing employee at every job she's ever had, amazing mom, and then I plug her into a fish market and in a year she's as good or better than any fish guy I've ever worked with in two decades of, of wholesale fish. She's incredible watching it with her it's and Elizabeth's like I shut my eye the whole every time oh, I get interviewed how are you? I'm like yeah well I do this funky <laughs> smile thing <Yeah. laughs> we're blessed by our first her <laughs> her arms extended I'll never let go <laughs> but it was so cool Elizabeth started to travel with me we got to visit a, a number of different places cool on the ocean side all, every major seaport you can think of we had fishermen from Gloucester Massachusetts all the way to Hawaii even New Zealand Australia and I remember one um, trip in particular we went down to st. Mark's Florida and we met Richard Lynn and he and his brothers owned all of St. Mark's but they were so humble it was like clover on the ocean so we sat there and we watched them grade stone crabs grouper all kind of stuff on the docks they had four or five generations of people on the docks Richard tells us that they're a decade away from losing 
the American fishing industry. He's like, we will not be in business. Everything you see that you love, it will not be here. where things change for me. And I asked him how much money it would take to fix it. He's like, it's nothing, it's a quarter, it's 50 cents a pound, it's paying people on time. We began to follow the money and we really changed the brand of the, of the firm that I, was, that I was helping build. And uh, we taught fishermen to pack FedEx boxes. We taught them to make their own ice packs. We'd go to Beverly Hills, we'd go to Las Vegas, we'd go to New York, Turks and Caicos, follow the money so that we could pay these fishermen what they were worth. Man, they really took off. It was just a huge, huge business, and it was a ton of fun for 10 years. Until you got tired. Eventually, all of our vacations and nights, I was on the phone talking to chefs. That was still fun, no doubt about it. But when it became a lot more office meetings and a lot less fishermen and chefs. And three children later. And three children later, it wasn't as much fun. I'm like, baby, I, I, I think I, I gotta do something else. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done on paper, but we walked away. This is probably not very fair. So where are we going? We're going to Sea Eagle Seafood. And what's the name of the little uh, town, Elizabeth? Yeah, village. No, 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 it's the something village. Something village. Sea Eagle. We're going to see Mr. Reeves unloading a shrimp boat. And gonna line up some wreckfish. Nice. Yes, I love it. drive business to hardworking fishermen straight on the docks. There, there's a ton of middle ground between import seafood and end consumer. Why should people buy directly from Carolina fishermen? Well, um, I can just kind of give you a brief history about our family. My dad's been shrimping for over 50 years and I started as a teenager at 15, so I've been doing it for well over 30 years myself. And so it's a family run business, three generations working right now at this facility. And, you know, we worked hard to have our own working waterfront and our boats. My brother has his own boat here. My dad, 73 years old, still passionate about going to work every day, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's what we love to do. And seafood, it, it's one of those things that it's a dying industry. Right. Uh, up and down the coast, um, it's, it's like a vanishing fleet. It's a vanishing industry. And unfortunately, 90% of what's consumed in the United States is imported. Yeah. I think with, especially with shrimp, you know, you can see it if you're looking at tilapia, it's got country origin and stuff. And, but with shrimp, they're always loose and hand packed behind a seafood counter. I don't think people as a general rule know that 90% of the shrimp they're buying is imported. Mm -hmm. I don't think they do. Well, in the grocery stores, you can, you can look for the cool labeling, which right. is country of origin labeling. And there's a lot of uh, manipulation in right. even those bags. They'll use uh, a packaging red, plant red, in USA. Yeah, well, there'll be red, white, and blue labeling, right. but on the back, the country of origin right. is going to be Thailand or Vietnam right. or India. Something I, I want folks to know is when we buy directly from a fisherman like Mr. Reeves, 
we, we we cut out a whole lot of the money that gets used up in the center distribution. I would, you know, the reason I'm here, what, what we want to do, the difference you guys can make is when you buy seafood that we're representing, we're going to represent him directly, we're going to pay him directly, and whatever price that I could buy your product from, from another distributor, I'm going to pay him. It means the fisherman gets the money, it means he can use that to take care of the boats, take care of his family not have to cut corners like dip shrimp so they weigh more. That's the difference you guys make. So what you can do is when you come in the market, be open-minded if there's a head-on shrimp. Uh, be open-minded if the shrimp that's running is a different size than the one you were looking for because you're getting the absolute best and this is who makes it happen. So. Quality is more important. Being a mom and a wife, mom of three kids and a crazy husband is hard, but seeing your husband work so hard at a job that he truly loves but it's taking him away from his family is a little discouraging. So when Clint decided to quit his job, I was more than on board. I was super excited. I secretly made this Facebook page where I would take pre-orders during the week because I knew he could get the fish, any kind of fish I wanted. I thought we're gonna start selling fish on Fridays. I'll take pre-orders for it through this Facebook page and they can come pick it up on Fridays right in front of where our actual store is now. We did that for what, six months? So we're in the parking lot. Mr. Billy Turner who owns the strip mall there pulls up and asks if we would like a spot in the strip mall. He's got a spot opening up and Clint's like, Clover, because he's still convinced that the whole shipping idea, wholesale idea, is where we need to go. I mean, I was, but I mean, I, I dreamt of being able to share the absolute best that we could get with our community. I thought that would be awesome. I just didn't think it would work. And But you helped me realize something. Well, I asked Clint one day, I said, what do you want to do? If you could retire tomorrow, what would you do with the rest of your life? And he said, I would sell fish. And I said, well, then let's do it right here in Clover. Let's do it. This is the coolest ever for me. We go from connecting fishermen and ranchers directly with the best chefs all over the country to come to the realization that we want to share that with our community, our family, and our friends. Elizabeth and I open up what we think is the coolest fish and, and meat market ever. So, I mean, we realized in pretty short order that there's no reason that everybody can't enjoy the absolute best. For the price of all the fast food that everybody was eating, you could come in and you could get the world's best halibut or the world's best Nantucket Bay scallops. And I mean, I could tell you who caught them and they're personal friends of ours. Yeah, we yeah. go to like every year, go to Boston and visit all my friends there that are the fishermen. Mm -hmm. Nantucket is um, where some of my, one of my absolute best fishermen friends lives. So somewhere along the way, I got exposed to what makes it to the grocery store. It's, there's two very huge different distribution lines for what's in the grocery store and what's in restaurants. And I quickly learned that all the fish that comes in the grocery stores, man, it is so sketchy. It's laden with chemicals. It's all in modified air packaging. It's bought six months in advance. Most of it is thought out. And that, that, that tuna that you see in the grocery store that's Barbie pink, it's Barbie pink because of carbon monoxide. It'll, it will stay that way on your kitchen counter for a month. And so it was so huge to us. You know, we were selling it to restaurants directly from the fishermen. Like literally, I, I, I call and I talk to a guy who is on the water. I got to call you back. I'm about to go out of, out of range. I'm pushing off the beach. And I ship that directly to a restaurant. And I just thought, gosh, you know, you've got servers at every restaurant telling folks that at the table side, but they're paying 50 bucks for it we could share that with our own community, our own small town, and bring that stuff directly from the docks and hand it straight over the counter to them. They literally get, when we do the best scallops in the world, when we do the best fish in the world, the best meat in the world, it's literally like two days fresher than it would be in a fine dining restaurant. Because I literally call my fisherman, I call my rancher, I get it delivered next day through the airport, 
And then that same moment that we open it, we show you on Facebook, you walk in 30 minutes later and I hand it to you. Some of our scallops, I can thump them and they still twitch, for real. My favorite part about what we do is taking care of our customers. We like getting their feedback and we like meeting their needs. So they wanted more hand cut meats. Clint went and found a meat case and he has kept it stocked. Most of our out of town customers were from Gastonia. They really wanted us to open up our second location there. We're there now with Rodney. He's taking good care of our customers up in Gastonia. We're on South New Hope Road, uh, right in front of GM restaurant. Yeah, this, that's us. We're, yeah, we're, uh, I'm, I'm standing in the location right now. Hello, I'm Rodney. I get to run the uh, Saltwater Markets Gastonia location for Clinton Elizabeth. Uh, my wife Stacy and I get to uh, come in every day, receive the best seafood and uh, that we can get our hands on from some of the best fishermen in the world. Great seafood, comfortable environment. Uh, cooking techniques anytime that anybody has been uh, intimidated by a new species that we get to bring in. Uh, we like to coach them through not just recipes but techniques that make them a better cook. That's been fun for us. We have been suggesting to our customers if you enjoy bacon, roll it and bake it because it's a cylindrical piece. Roll yeah. it and bake it. Our job, the heart of our business is the confidence. Right. So if they come in to us and say, you know, I'm looking for something for dinner, if we can instill enough confidence in them, they won't buy shrimp. Right. They won't buy just the shrimp or the salmon. They'll stop and listen and let us tell. Right. So that confidence we have to get from somewhere. And it all boils down. It, it just flows uphill. That confidence goes all the way back to the coast and by the fishermen. I want them to come into our store and say, hey, I came in for salmon, but I'm open to ideas. I know through learning more about you guys and the experiences I've had here, that whatever it is you send me home with will probably be better than the plan I walked in here with. We want to send them home so that when dinner's over, they've had the most incredible experience ever, and they've cooked dinner for their spouse or for their kids like they were a chef, and we can pull that off. One of the biggest uh, thrills for me is the ability to let my inner nerd shine through. I like to talk about the scientific side of uh, a lot of the species. I like to talk about where they come from, how they feed, how that, how what they eat relates to how they taste. I think it's important to support uh, as many local fishermen as possible because that money in turn comes right back to us here in uh, Gastonia. I've been active a lot in things and organizations that uh, bring me joy but also inform the public about what uh, fishing does for our state, what fishing does for our country, and, uh, and what being able to sell those products at, right here in a small town like uh, Gastonia. It's been really rewarding to us uh, to be able to bring what we do and what we know to, uh, to this community. The next big thing was the huge growth in our Facebook page. We had tons of viewers from out of town watching us every day. They were like, when are you going to start shipping? What do we do? We build that program. We just launched that program. We're super excited to ship nationwide and even our local folks have them 
their boxes sent to the house for them so they don't have to come out um, every day when they're not able. How serious you are. <laughs> Just driving normal. <laughs> What we're putting together is incredible. It's incredible for our community, it's incredible for theirs. <laughs> we're truly blessed that we get to come in and do exactly what it is that we want to do every single day. We get to take care of our customers, we get to work with our family and our friends. We started here in Clover in a little fish market and now we're shipping nationwide and it's truly unbelievable. Whether you visit us in one of your local community stores, watch our cooking shows, or order a box straight to your front door online through our website, we want to share the absolute best with you. Little high fives? Yeah. All right. These were caught off the boat that they were filming with today, or I was filming earlier. They look so good. They look so good. You know how many people would love to go on vacation with you guys oh, to the beach and yeah, like just really? eat all y'all's food? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like living the best life right now. <laughs> so yes. I got this. And then. <laughs> Throw it up, I'll catch it. Oh, that bird's coming in. So get in here and let us share the best with you. Okay, thank you guys for having me. Of course. For serving Cheers. all the food. It's our pleasure. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. There we go. Bon appetit. Everybody's together. <laughs> bon appetit. That's a wrap.